Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says a solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 cm and radius 60 cm standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 cm is placed upright in a right circular cylinder full of water such that it touches the bottom. Find the volume of the water left in the cylinder if the radius of the cylinder is 60 cm and its height is 180 cm. Now we know that volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h where r is the radius and h is the height and volume of hemisphere is equal to by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the hemisphere and volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h where r is the radius and H is the height of the cylinder. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now it is given in the question that a solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 centimeter and this is the height of the cone 120 centimeter and radius 60 centimeter standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 centimeter Now, the volume of this solid is equal to volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere. Now, this solid is placed in a cylinder full of water. Now, when this solid is placed in a cylinder full of water, it displaces some water and the water it displaces is equal to its own volume. Now we have to find the volume of water left in the cylinder when this solid is placed in a cylinder. Hence volume of water left in the cylinder will be equal to the volume of water in the cylinder minus volume of this solid. Now, first let us calculate the volume of this solid. Now, we are given the height of the cone is equal to 120 centimeter. Let us convert it into meters. So, this is equal to 120 upon 100 meter because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and this is again equal to 1.2 meter and radius of cone is equal to centimeter and this is equal to 60 upon 100 meter and this is equal to 0 0.6 meter. Now the radius of hemisphere is equal to 
60 centimeter and this is equal to 60 upon 100 meter which is again equal to 0.6 meter therefore volume of this solid is equal to volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere now according to our key idea volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h plus volume of hemisphere which is 2 by 3 pi r cube let us take 1 by 3 pi r square common so we have volume of solid is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square into h plus 2r and this is again equal to 1 by 3 pi now r is 0.6 meter into h is 1.2 meter plus 2 into 0.6 meter and this is again equal to 1 by 3 pi into 0.36 into 1.2 plus 1.2 meter cube and this is equal to 1 by 3 pi into 0.36 into 2.4 meter cube hence the volume of the solid is equal to 0.8 into 0.36 pi now the radius of the cylinder is Centimeter, which is equal to 0.6 meter, and height of the cylinder is 180 centimeter, which is equal to 1.8 meter. Therefore, volume of water in the cylinder. is equal to pi r square h because this is the formula for volume of cylinder and this is equal to pi into 0.6 square into 1.8 meter cube and this is equal to 1.8 0.36 pi meter cube now volume of the solid is 0.8 into 0.36 pi meter cube and volume of water in the cylinder is 1.8 into 0.36 pi meter cube hence volume of water left in the cylinder is equal to volume of water in the cylinder minus volume of solid and this is equal to One point eight into zero point three six pi meter cube 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट इंटू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स पाई मीटर क्यू लेट एस टेक जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स पाई कॉमन वी हैव वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर लेफ्ट इन द सिलेंडर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स पाई इंटू वन पॉइंट एट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट मीटर क्यू And this is again equal to 0.36 into take pi is equal to 22 upon 7 into 1 meter cube, and this is equal to 7.92 upon 7 meter cube, and this is again equal to 1.131 meter cube approximately. Hence, the answer for the above question is that volume of water left in the cylinder is 1.131 meter cube approximately. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.